In this video, I'm going to show you how you can be able to automate your cloud browsers with AI agents using a tool called Hyper Browser, where you can actually be able to scale and run multiple concurrent browsers at the same time to perform your browser automations. And not only that, you can also be able to use this tool to handle the capture and also the stealth mode browsing, which you can actually be able to bypass the bot detection and stay undetected when you run your browser automations. And most importantly, you can also have your session management where you can manage your browser session with logins, debuggings, and more. And in this video specifically, I'm gonna show you how you can be able to do this with incorporate AI agents inside of your browsers and also how you can be able to use this tool for data extractions like scraping, crawling, and also extracting content from the page. And of course, if you stick to the end of this video, I'm gonna show you a very powerful project that I built with Hyper Browser, where you can actually be able to use the Hyper Browser here to automate your job application process, where you can simply just input your resume, your job preferences, and personal information. And the AI here is gonna spin up multiple concurrent browsers and be able to find jobs automatically for you and be able to apply for them automatically using the cloud computer use agents. And is able to call the different APIs inside of Hyper Browser, save the progress inside of our JSON file data. So Pretty much that's what we're going to cover in this video if you're interested let's get into it all right so before we jump in a quick intro for those who are new here my name is eric and i have spent years as a senior software engineer at companies like amazon aws and microsoft and i have started this youtube channel to share everything i have learned along the way from ai encoding to automations web3 career developments and more all broken down into practical tutorials that you can actually follow so if you're ready to level up make sure to check out my YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. Now let's get back to the video. All right, so in this case, to get started, first thing first, we navigate to hyperbrowser.ai and all we have to do is just click on login to log into the application. So once we log into the application, this is what the dashboard looks like. So currently you can see that I'm on the overview tab where we can be able to view the credit usage, the consumptions on how much page we have scraped, and we can also be able to get our API keys to use that to authenticate ourselves when we're making API requests. So here you can see on the left, you can see that I have the data extractions, the agents, right, incorporate AI agents into the browser sessions. And in this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step on what each of those features does. So here I'm gonna show you the data extractions where we can scrape data, crawl and also extracting data. So scraping basically means, let's say if we have like a URL, for example, this web page right here, where we can be able to simply just copy this URL and simply just scrape the content from the page. And let's say this URL have multiple pages under this domains. For example, where there's like slash home, slash explore, slash uh, trending now, right? So these are all sub pages based on this domain. We can actually simply just copy that domain and pass it to crawl and it can crawl all the pages or sub pages based on that domain. And there's also extracting data where let's say we want to extract specifically for this table here for trends, like their keyword trends and also their search volumes. We can actually have the hyper browser here to extract those contents and output this in a JSON format or a markdown format, right? So in this case, I'm gonna show you this step-by-step. Step. So to demonstrate to you, I'm gonna use the playground here so you can see that I have clicked on the playground and simply all I have to do is click on the script here and I have to provide a URL and here you can see we have our data output on the right, which we have our Google Trends, right? So these are the entire page, including the nav bars, including the uh, table, which we can actually be able to see this on the, at the very bottom, which here you can see this is our table for the Google Trends. This is the 200K searches, 500K searches, which is what we see here. So this is the scraping part. And what's really powerful with Hyper Browser is that there's actually a session options where you can actually be able to accept the cookies, use proxies, or you can actually be able to solve a CAPTCHAs. So for example, it's very common for websites like Google. Maybe Google will detect that this browser automation is a bot, then it will basically prompt a CAPTCHAs for you to solve. So Hyper Browser here has the functionality to solve this for the CAPTCHAs. So it's gonna wait for like, for example, like uh, 10,000 milliseconds to wait after the page load and also allow time to detect the CAPTCHAs on any pages that's currently ongoing, right? So that's gonna be an option. There's also the stealth mode where you can actually be able to run browser automation undetected. And then there's also content that we can filter out. For example, what are some content or elements that we want to exclude to extract from the page? What are some elements that we want to include? These are the things that we can be able to specify here. And also additional options like what are the response format that we want? For example, we want screenshots, we want links, we want URLs, we want HTMLs, all those kind of things we can specify here. Okay, now this page doesn't have screenshots, but I'll show you on the other page where let's say if we wanna crawl it, it has screenshots. So that's gonna be scraping part. And we can actually also be able to crawl data, which here you can see this is what the result look like, which we specify that URL. And here you can see it has uh, specified that how many pages we wanna crawl. In this case, we specify we wanna crawl a maximum of five sub pages for this URL. 
So here you can see it has crawled this page right here, which is the slash trending from the from this domain. There's also the slash home slash home query geo us, right? And also there's slash trends slash explore. That's also another one. And like I mentioned, there's also a screenshot option, which let's say if we were to click on screenshots, we can actually see the image on where that is in the application. Okay. So you can see that we have our metadata, HTML, all the links, and also the markdown format for the entire page. Now you can see that here, you can see it has the recapture required for verifications because I have turned off for captures, but let's say if I were to turn this on, I'm going to, let's say if I were to crawl this again, it's not going to have this issue. So now let's say if I were to crawl this and have the solve captures turned on. So let's wait for a bit until it fully crawled. But while I was waiting, let me also show you the extract feature. So here you can see this extract feature where first thing first, we just paste the link. And here we can simply just use natural language here to basically provide uh, what are the things that we want to scrape, right? For the, for example, the trending keywords and also their search volumes. So the trending keywords is here and also the search volume is this column right here, okay? So here you can see I have specified that using the natural language here and simply I just run this request and now you can see that we have our array of objects which contains the keywords and also the search volume specified here. Okay, so this keyword has this much search volume, which is identical to what we have here. And not only this, we can actually be able to specify multiple URLs up to 10 URLs that we can extract data from. And basically, we just simply using one prompt on what are the things that we want to extract, and it's going to extract that for you. And you can also be able to define the schema. For example, I can be able to add a property. For example, like I want to add the keyword property, and this keyword is going to be string, number, uh, boolean, like true or false or array, objects, so much more, right? So you can also specify a JSON object where it has the objects, the properties, and also the, if it's required or not, right? So these are some things that we can actually specify. And of course, for it doesn't matter if you're using scrape, crawl, or extract, you also have the session options to use solve captchas, use proxies, and also accept cookies, stealth mode, and all those kind of things for each browser sessions. Now, let's come back to the crawler here. Let's say if I were to go back to the third page, which was the one that happens. Now you can see that the data is fully crawled, which here you can see has solved the capture option from Google Trends, okay? So you can see the capture is actually working. Now, pretty much that's how you can be able to use data extractions to extract data from the web. But obviously that's not enough for all the features for Hyper Browser. So I'm gonna show you how you can be able to incorporate AI agents inside of your browsers. So to do so, there's a couple of ways. We can actually be able to use the hyper agents, the cloud computer use, and even the browser use that I made a video on, which you can see here, where I show you how you can be able to use browser use on your local machine to incorporate AI agents inside of your browser. Obviously, the goal here is to run our browser automations on the cloud using AI agents. So that's why I'm gonna show you in this video. So in that case, to get started, first thing first, we navigate to hyperbrowser.ai, and here you can see we can click on the hyperpilot. Basically, what Hyperpilot does is that it will allow us to run AI agents in the web inside of our browser. So here you can see that we can simply just provide a prompt and you can see that it's going to start to automate our um, browser, right? So here you can see we can change our model, our agents. We can change to cloud computer use or even the uh, open AI computer use. And here we can change different models, like for example, Sonnet 4, uh, change different providers, right? So once we set our models are all set, we can also change our profile. For example, here you can see in terms of profile, we can save our credentials into each of those profiles. For example, let's say if I were to create a new profile, it's starting a profile session. Here you can see it gave us a Chrome browser, which we can be able to navigate, for example, to Gmail. We can log in with Gmail, it's gonna save that session. We can now navigate to LinkedIn, right? and we can log in with LinkedIn and it will start to save our LinkedIn credential in that profile session. So once we set up our profile session, I'm just gonna use the one that I set already, which is Eric Tech. And here I'm just gonna provide a prompt saying that please apply for jobs on LinkedIn using the easy apply feature for developer advocate jobs. So I'm just going to send this request and let's see what Hyper Browser uh, or Hyper Palette does here. Awesome, so now you can see that it has logged in into my LinkedIn account, which here you can see we can be able to view all the jobs and currently it should be able to search for the search bar. So currently it has the text search bar, which you can see here. Um, and then it started typing things. So it's typing developer advocates and let's see what it does after it searched this. All right, so now you can see that it starts to open one of the job and start to fill in the application. 
And then of course I can also have it to find like plumbers with five star rating, even though the browser session is closed with each browser session has maximum of with 15 minutes. And here you can see that it starts to open the browser, right? So here it takes a screenshot of this. And then here you can see it starts to search for things. And after you navigate to one of the page to have the emergency plumbers in Vancouver, where you can see there's some data here. Then here you can see it's gonna look for each profile here and it starts to extract those data automatically. And then eventually here you can see that it's also able to look for different sites. For example, Yelp, you can see that it's gonna look for the emergency plumbers. It's currently located in Vancouver, BC. So here you can see that it starts to extracting data from different services in Yelp. And eventually you can see that it gives us a overview of the top five star rated plumbers in Vancouver, BC. So we have many plumbers here, which give us the name, the ratings, phone numbers, hours, address, services provided. Pretty much you can see that we're able to have Hyper Browser here to pretty much automate a lot of those things in a cloud browser here, okay? And let's say if you want to ever remove those credentials that you save in a profile, you can always um, edit this or you can also delete this, right? Based on your profile, right? So pretty much that's how we can be able to incorporate AI agents inside of our cloud browser. But now let's also take a look at how we can be able to do this in code. So here you can see inside of our cloud computer use documentation, you can see that we can be able to use SDK here to do the same thing that we just did, right? But the powerful, or in this case, the difference here is that we can actually be able to split up multiple browsers. We can split up multiple cloud computer use browsers inside of a hyper browser sessions. So here you can see we can run in Node.js or a Python version. Simply we just create a client and we just call it using the cloud computer use and it's gonna provide instructions, then it's gonna do the thing, right? But the thing is that we can actually be able to automate this process to do, in this case, reuse a browser session to perform a task, or in this case, we can also spin up multiple browser sessions concurrently to perform a task all together, right? Now, in terms of the project here, this is what the code look like, which here you can see I have created a project called AI Job Automation. So basically you can see that this is the system infrastructure where we simply just provide our resume in PDF format and also the job preferences on what are jobs we're looking to find and also some personal information. Then it's going to save that in our AI context. Then the AI context here is going to spin up the main system, which is the main.py file. And it's gonna to start to search for things, start to going to apply for things, right? So basically you can see that we have our multi-browser manager, which will basically orchestrate this entire concurrent browser sessions. So it's gonna use concurrent browser session here to spin up multiple browser sessions that each session here or each browser is gonna run a job finding on its site. For example, we're looking to find jobs for developer advocates in Remote OK, also we work remotely, Angelus, Dice, right, different sites. We're looking to find different jobs and we're gonna, each site is gonna be managed in one browser session. So eventually here, you can see that we're using anti-detection anti configurations in the stealth mode, which we mentioned earlier. Basically, we don't want the website here to detect that we are a bot. So basically, we're gonna enable that. Basically, we're gonna create an instance of the browser agents to run on each site. And eventually, you can see that it uses the cloud computer use to search the jobs, to fill the forms, and also process the results. And eventually here, you can see that we're basically calling the Hyper Browser API to manage the browser sessions, to basically record the URLs, and also process the results and save the application status onto a JSON file. So basically you can see that in terms of the output data, this is what it looks like, right? So we have a jobs that we found, their location, their URL for the jobs, their salary range, the, the, the status. So in terms of job status, we have four of them. So one of them is we found the job and we will just put them as found. If it's already applied, then it's gonna set the application as submitted. There's also rejected, interview. Um, in terms of the feature, right, these are the features here. So basically, this is what the application looks like, which here you can see this logs. But basically, we have our main.py file, right, which has the hyper browser and also load up the credentials. And here you can see this is our JSON data for the jobs. So every jobs we found and applied will be stored in the JSON data. And here you can see this is the example file. And also we also have our test to test the computer use and also the system connection. Then here's gonna be our user preferences, like our job preferences, our platform, our personal info uh, examples, right? So for example, our name, our emails, these are gonna be information that's gonna be used to fill in the uh, job applications, right? So here we also have a resume attached. The AI agent is gonna also read that as well. So here, basically, the main file is main.py, which spin up multiple concurrent browser agents. And then we also have our browser agent.class file, which basically the browser agent here is gonna use the cloud computer use for the web interactions. And also inside of our requirements.txt, these are the packages that we are gonna use for this project. 
So pretty much that's gonna be the project and feel free to check out this repository on my uh, GitHub repository to basically incorporate Hyper Browser here inside of your application. And of course, feel free to change the browser agent here. Instead of using the cloud computer use, you can feel free to use the uh, browser use or maybe using like the Hyper Browser agents. Feel free to change it whatever you want, but I'm just using the cloud computer use. And of course, if you ever want to replay the uh, sessions that you had before, so you click on overview, these are the recent session, or you can click on sessions to view all the sessions that you had. And basically you can click on one of the session video it gives you a footage of the entire session. So for example, navigators to the job sites and it starts to you know, look for jobs and start to apply, right? So pretty much that's it for the Hyper Browser. And to conclude everything in this video, I show you how you can be able to use the Hyper Browser here for the data extractions, for also using different types of AI agents inside of our browser. So pretty much that's it for this video. If you do find value in this video, please make sure to like this video, consider subscribe for more content like this. But with that being said, I will see you in the next video.